Neil Hennessy is chairman, president, and CEO of Hennessy Advisors. His Focus 30 fund beat 95% of its rivals in the past five years. He joins us now from Nevada, California. Neil, great to have you back on Bloomberg. Good afternoon. Thanks, Carol. Hey, so make some sense out of this, what we're seeing today. Just a Santa Claus rally. Not surprised to kind of see this move up? No, I, the market's in very good shape. You know, the next couple of weeks are going to be low volume. Not a lot's going to happen. You go up 100 points, down 100 points. But I think people are, are have to understand that we are at the beginning of a bull market. And, and the story is just developing now uh, about what's going to happen in the future. And we've been out, Carol, with that last two months mm -hmm. with a dividend story, which I think is really going to start to play out next year. So the next two weeks really don't have anything to do with what's going to ensue in the next 12, 18, 24 months. Neil, you sound very uppy. What about all those naysayers out there that say, you know, we've got lots of changes, health care changes coming, financial regulatory changes coming, you've got the deficit to worry about, and you still have some concerns about the economy. What do you say to all of them? Those are pretty good reasons. Well, you know, everybody always looks for the worst in, in anything, and they, they forget about looking at what is really good out there. Carol, go back to 2002, and the same things were being said when all the companies were defraying their costs, laying off their employees, deleveraging, cutting their dividends, closing unprofitable businesses. All they were doing, Carol, then were getting ready for 2003 and being lean and mean. So any incremental increase in revenue would fall to the bottom line. Exactly what we saw in 2009 to get ready for 2010. And that's where I think uh, you're going to see the market a lot higher next year. But we're not going to be back in the markets of boom and bust that we've seen in the last 10 years. All right. So basically, you're saying nothing's changed. I mean, these, this cycle's not nothing different from what we've seen over the past cycles. Well, essentially, you know, business is going to have to pull it out like we've always had to pull it out. We've always had to deal with higher interest rates. We've always had to deal with the, um, you know, uh, different changing of the guard in Washington. Uh, we've always had to deal with so many different periods and problems, and, and, but we always seem to come out of it. And I think we'll come out of this tailspin at the same time. Well, but wait, help me out here because, yeah. I mean, I'm thinking about what the Fed has to unwind. Everybody is concerned about that. I mean, in terms of getting us out of the financial crisis, everybody well, agrees that they did that. But you've got a lot of assets that they've got to unwind. I, I think what's going to be unwound is the, incum the incumbents in Washington. I think they're going to have a very difficult time winning re-election. And that's going to then pose a, a major problem. Once people get so fed up, Carol, with the deficit, Deficit in the spending, there's going to be some retaliation clear across the United States that's going to get this deficit down. There's no doubt in my mind going forward that the American people are going to start to rise up and say enough's enough, either voting them out of office or making sure that they pay down the deficit. All right, but some of, some of that deficit we had no choice. I mean, in terms of that financial bailout, we had to do that. Well, some of the financial bail, yeah, we did do that, but you got to understand that we're, it's being paid back, too. The, the auto loans, maybe they're not going to get paid back as quickly as the banks paid the money back. But if you look at it long term, that's minuscule compared to the way we're just spending billions upon billions of dollars. Because at least it was an investment we had a shot, Carol, of getting your money back.